Hi everyone and welcome to Storytime with Kate. Today I was going to show you a little trick that will help you to introduce yoga into your daily routine. There are many benefits in introducing yoga for little ones. For example, it helps them to wake up and feel alert. It relaxes children and educators as well. It may be a great proactive tool to uh, manage anger and uh, help with self-regulation. It also strengthens memory as children remember the positions of yoga and helps to release any wiggles or fidgets, fidgeting before or during the story time. If you need children to concentrate, why don't you use a couple of yoga positions uh, in order to get their attention first. Yoga, if done outside, helps to connect to nature, but even if it's done inside, it's also quite amazing as it promotes uh, tuning in with the child's body. Uh, of course, yoga soothes anxieties and fears, and in every room you might have a child or children who are a little bit on the anxious spectrum. And of course, because it's a group activity, yoga helps to celebrate sense of community and celebrate happiness. From my experience, yoga also helps to um, support positive self-esteem. Because if children are offered to do something and they succeed, such as a tree pose or any other positions or asanas, as uh, they're called in yoga, it does help to uh, create a sense of achievement. So there are many, many benefits of yoga. So if you know any more than those ones that I listed, please comment in the comments below and let's discuss. Meanwhile, this is the tool. So I used to have yoga pretzel set. This one is different, but I really like it too. And I think it's absolutely suitable. So during the group time, this is how I would use it. First, I will pick some positions that are uh, for physical fitness and flexibility. For example, this is a cow pose. Yes, yeah, so um, and you have a description at the back. So, for example, it says that it improves digestion and releases back and neck tension. Really great asana uh, called the cow. So, you can demonstrate it to children, can read how to do it first, especially if you do not know how to do this asana. But what um, I did, I was just do it with children, so during the group time. Then, uh, they repeat it and then you can add it to your set for yoga self exercise yes so that would be a nice corner where you will have a mat maybe a little candle not real one but those artificial ones or some incense or aroma oils again the burner that is quite safe for children uh, maybe some chimes um, something that creates really calm and wonderful uh, environment for yoga in addition to that, I would also use some exercises that are promoting meditations, like this one, for example, the child pose, that is quite good. Um, so once you went through the whole pack and you learned positions one after another, you can offer children to uh, pick one, So and that's the way to offer it. So you choose one from the deck, and then you do it with children. For example, this one is elephant variation, so you do it as a group. What I really like about those packs that they do have so-called pair positions. This is the best because this does promote cooperation, teamwork, and actually uh, a lot of fun. So, for example, one of our favorite postures that we used to do with preschoolers was a lizard on the rock. So this one is called the heart and also quite interesting and challenging. You also can see um, that there are other postures for two children called Lean on Me, amazing, um, and others that are challenging to do and they are kind of for one child and some that are quite, quite challenging. Yeah, for example, this one. Even if children are not doing it perfectly, it's still an amazing thing and you can introduce it to any age group starting from the age of three. But um, even younger children, if they observed this uh, done in their culture, in their family, 
they will be more likely to repeat it. Another thing about this set is that it's got sequences. Yes, so you can actually create your own yoga stories, which is an amazing thing to do. Uh, or flow. So I think if you start with just learning postures first or asanas, uh, then you can do uh, some flows and attempt to learn the flow. For example, this one is called All is Well. Okay? And it's quite amazing. So this one is for anger management. And this one is anxiety booster. So give it a try and um, tell me what are you using in your daily practice for yoga. Thank you for watching. Consider subscribing if you like this video.